Hi everyone, welcome back to Yumi Toddler with a new story The Owl Who Was Afraid of the Drug by Jill Tomlinson and illustrated by Paul Howard. Plop was a baby barn owl. He lived with his mommy and daddy at the top of a tall tree. Plop was the same as every baby barn owl that has ever been except for one thing. He was afraid of the dark. The Owl Who Was Afraid of the Dark Words by Jill Tomlinson Illustrated by Paul Howard I don't want to be a night bird, Plop told his mommy. Dark is nasty. You don't know that, she said. You'd better find out about the dark before you make up your mind. Look, there's a little boy down there. Go and ask him. So Plop, who was quite new at flying, took a deep breath and flew down. Oh, cried the little boy as Plop landed with a somersault. Hello, said Plop. I've come to find out about the dark. Oh, said the boy. Dark is exciting. Especially tonight, we're going to have a fireworks. Does it have to be dark? asked Plop. Of course, replied the boy. You can't see the fireworks unless it's dark. Look out for them later. Well, said Mrs. Barn Owl when Plop arrived back at the nest. The little boy says, Dark is exciting, said Plop. I still do not like it at all, but I will watch the fireworks if you will sit by me. We will sit by you, said his mommy and daddy. So that is what they did. When the very last firework had faded away, Mr. Barn Owl went hunting. All night he brought food back to Plop until daylight came and it was time for bed. Halfway through the morning, Plop woke up. Mrs. Barn Owl opened one bleary eye. Plop, dear, she said, why don't you find out some more about the dark? Go and ask that lady in the deck chair. Plop landed by the old lady with a thumb. Hello, he said, I've come to ask you about the dark. I want to go hunting with Daddy, but he always goes hunting in the dark, and I am afraid of it. How very old, said the lady. Now, I love the dark. Dark is kind. I can forget that I am an old, and I can sit and remember all the good times. I have not much to remember yet, said Plop. I am rather new, you see. Well, said his mommy, as Plop flew up to the landing branch. The old lady says, dark is kind, said Plop, but I still do not like it at all. That evening, when both his parents went hunting, Plop closed his eyes and tried to remember something to remember. Suddenly, he heard a happy shout and Plop forgot about being afraid of the dark. He peered through the leaves and saw a boy sitting in by the fire. Plop flew down, landing with an enormous thud. Hello, said Plop. I've come to see what's going on. I'm guarding the campfire, said the boy. The others have gone to play games in the dark. Lucky things. Do you like the dark? asked Plop. It is super, the boy replied. Dark is fun. We are going to make cocoa and sing around the fire. Would you like to stay? So Plop stayed. The boys sang until the fire had sung to a red glow. Then Plop said goodbye and flew home. Well, said his mommy, where have you been? I met a boy and he says dark is fun. I still do not like it at all, but I think campfires are super. Plop woke up the next afternoon and went out on to the landing branch. Plop said Mrs. Barn Owl, go and find out about the dark again. See what that little girl down there thinks about it. Plop landed by the little girl with a bounce. Hello, he said. I've come to ask about the dark. Do you like it? Of course I do, she replied. Dark is necessary. Without the dark, Father Christmas wouldn't come. You'd have an empty stocking on Christmas Day. I don't have a stocking, said Plop. So the little girl took off her Wellington and gave him her sock. 
here she said hanging it, hang it up on christmas eve oh thank you said plop and returned to his mummy well said mrs barn owl the little girl says duck is necessary because of father christmas coming plop said i still do not like it at all but i am going to hang up the sock on christmas eve Plop slept nearly all day. By evening, he was afraid of wake. It's getting up time, Daddy. He shouted, butting his father in the tummy. Mr. Barnard looked up at the sky. Not quite yet, Plop. He said, "Wait till it's dark." The ni- that night, Plop watched his parents trek off to go hunting again. Looking through the leaves, he saw a man standing on the ground below. So Plop flew down, landing with a gentle bump. Heavens! cried the man. You startled me. Hello, said Plop. What's that you've got there? A telescope, said the man, for looking at the stars and planets at night. I don't like the dark very much, said Plop. Really? said the man. But dark is wonderful, I'll show you. The man with the telescope showed Plop lots of stars and how they made patterns in the sky. He pointed out the bright pole star. the blue the dog star and orion the great hunter plop said thank you and flew back to his mummy and daddy a man with a telescope showed me the stars plop told them he says dark is wonderful that morning plop had his supper in bed and then like a real night bird he slept right through the day When Plop woke, it was almost dark. Now, who is a day bird? He shouted at the darkness. Plop looked at the sleepy parents. He was not going to hang about, waiting for them. He might be missing something. Plop floated down and landed like a soft white feather under the tree. He saw a big black cat. "Hello," said the cat. I was just going exploring. Won't you come with me? I would like to. I think said Plop, but I'm afraid of the dark. But dark is beautiful, said the cat. Look around you. Plop looked. The moon had risen. Everything was bathed in its white light. Moonlight is magic, said the cat. Come with me. I will show you the nighttime world of cats and owls. Will you come? Yes, I will, said Plop. The cat took Plop up to the rooftops and they looked down over the sleeping town. This is my word, said Plop. I am a night bird after all, and this is only one sort of night, said the cat. There are lots of other kinds, all beautiful. Thank you for showing me, said Plop. I must go now and tell my mommy and daddy good night, said the black cat, and many many good nights. Plop flew straight back to his tree. Well, said his mummy. Plop took a deep breath. The small boy said, "Dark is exciting." The old lady said, "Dark is kind." The campfire boy said, "Dark is fun." The little girl said, "Dark is necessary." The man with the telescope said, "Dark, dark is wonderful," and the black cat said, "Dark is beautiful." And what do you think, Plop? Asked his mummy. Plop looked up at his parents with a twinkling eyes. I think, he said, I think dark is super. Then Plop took off to go hunting in the dark. Mister and Missus Barn Owl on each side, and Plop in the middle. Plop, the night bird. Thank you very much for watching a touching story that calms fear. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more exciting and fun stories for kids. See you later.
see you again with a new story bye